Okay, hey what's up guys, this is going to be really laggy because my graphics card is not 100% to so this but I've tried to lower the graphics down as much as possible hence why I've got myself a, a new sort of uh, setup right now so when you see this, it looks a little small and I've got a picture in the background um, yeah, it's because when it's set to Windows mode to run this game smoothly uh, it, it captures like that unfortunately so Hopefully you like the new setup and hopefully everything goes well. This is just a sort of test record before I do a stream tonight of this game uh, to see how well it runs. Uh, so far I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I'm saying I'm a lot again. Shut up, dickhead. We'll see how well this game runs and see if it does well. Yeah, the graphics are rather low on here, but I'm seeing if we can get it to run. Also to try and do some various different mods though. Yeah, let's hope this goes well. It's the first time playing on PC of Resident Evil uh, 2 Remake. I'm going to start from the beginning. And we're going to do um, Leon. Why not? We're going to start on. Uh, should we do. Yeah, we're going to start on the standard. We're not going to do hardcore straight away because I've never played this on PC since so it's the first time playing on PC. And hopefully the stream will go well with this. And obviously this little video I'm recording right now, so people can see it on YouTube when they come over to stream and see what I'd be doing. Uh, link in the description for my stream, stream account, so you can come check me out on Twitch. Okay. It took me a while to figure out how to capture this, because it wouldn't Windows D it for some reason. But um, I found out if you alt tab twice, it will load up the stream as OBS. It's looking a bit laggy in the uh, Streamlabs OBS, so I don't know if it's going to be full laggy or not. I'll keep some cutscenes in, some of them I won't keep in. Okay, skip that. So, right now I'm feeling a little... Yeah, this is, it's got some noticeable lag. Graphics are not really as great as when I stream it on PS4 or as to some big YouTubers because my game tower is not 100% uh, the best game tower possible, but uh, it's good enough to try and get to work. And if you've noticed, yes, with this version I do have the original soundtracks. I'm just across, they always do. It's just a waste of bullets, and in theory, you cannot uh, defeat all zombies in this area unless you have uh, unlimited hour cheats. But in from the beginning, I believe it's physically well, not impossible, but I don't know how to do that yet. If anybody knows how to get unlimited ammo straight away in the beginning, it's only in the PC version you can most likely do this. And I'm, yeah, I'm using standard. Uh, standard um, costumes. Uh, I do have the noir costume and everything, and the sheriff one on the fitness PC version. This is given to me by a friend, so this is why I've got different things compared to the PS4 version. So yeah, already straight away you know the music's different from the beginning. Because he bought all this stuff and he shared me this so I can uh, be able to play it on my PC to see how it runs before I actually buy the game. It runs, yeah, it runs okay, it's not great as everybody else, but at least I'm trying to get a PC version done. Uh, to be honest, it feels a little bit more darker compared to uh, the PS4 version, unless that's just the graphic capability, you know, different graphics between the PC version and the PlayStation, or it's just the way my graphics are set up. I have noticed on a few people's streams this does look a lot darker compared to the PS4. Maybe the PS4 version is a little bit more brighter, I don't know. It could be, I'm just not 100% sure. So here we are, we made it to the police station. As you can see, noticeably very dark in certain areas. Uh, it just feels weird using the mouse to these things. Uh, so as you can see I'm not really used to this, some people are really quick at doing this. Yeah, I ain't that great, because I've never played this before. 
Uh, you notice it brightens up when you pick up ammunition. I don't know how to keep it that bright because I like to see the game in this that kind of brightness, but I don't know if that's just the difference between the PC version and this version. For some reason, I keep pressing E. I don't know why. <laughs> it's just a habit. Most games, you just press E for um, you know anything action-based. Um, yeah, cutscenes are semi okay. You've noticed that I've turned a lot of things off. And yeah, I've noticed it's really dark down this corridor, so it's very difficult to see where you go. Now, I do remember those, like from the, the fight, the little short demo you get to do. Um, there was Pangan Books in there, if I remember rightly from the main game. Uh, I always turn like on just in case to see if there's anything else in there, which I don't think there is anything in there from memory playing this game so many times. But as you can see, it's rather dark down the corridor, I can't really make out, and if people can help me with the change the graphic settings, because in the PS4 you don't really need to, it's already automatically like this. Uh, so you can easily see where you're going, this is just quite difficult for me to see, and I missed the first day of spraying the toilet, but I don't care. But, it's lucky from memory I do remember where certain areas are, so technically playing around like I'm playing on the PS4. This feels like rather darker compared to the PS4 version, but I suppose that's just the way the PC version is a bit, a bit more darker, like reality. Unless there's a way of changing the settings to make it like the PS4 version, where it is brighter. I've gone through multiple settings to see how to turn the brightness up. It, yeah, the brightness is at max. I don't know if there's any other way of changing it. I have noticed on bigger YouTuber streams that, um, yeah, it is up in there. He didn't grab me in the, the test playthrough, but um, it's beside the point. Oh, I've got the It feels weird running with the mouse, but yeah, it happens. Uh, yeah, on the PS4 version, I always get caught by that Japanese guy, zombie. For some reason, it's just like, boom, with this, it's like you, you feel yourself sliding to the wall going around him. But yeah, it's just weird that uh, it's certain. I like this cutscene running through. As you can see how the cutscene works. It seems that like the cutscenes are more right than the main game. I don't know if that's part of the deal or PC version. I don't know. So the cutscenes look a lot better than the game does when you play through it. Um, on my version. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's to a black guy. I mean, not being racist, but it's the only black guy in this thing gets killed. You, know. you ever seen every horror movie back in 1998? The black guy always dies. Yeah, it's slightly racist. 
The same with video games. <laughs> but I like the original idea where he was supposed to survive, but yeah, unfortunately, you know, they kept with the original idea. Well, not the original idea, but the full release game idea where, you know, unfortunately Marvin dies. But, um, yeah, in the original idea of Resident Evil 2, back in. I'll uh, keep it normal hanger. I did, I'll show you, actually, whilst I'm doing this video, you'll probably see it in the stream as well. I'll show you. Uh, I do have these as well that you have with this pack, but it's annoying because. Ah, uh, the nice sound of the item box. Um, yeah, they start with no ammo, so you're losing your 10. Yeah, 10 ammo just for swapping for this. So, yeah, it just keeps it that. But these are supposed to be quite good, they're the samurai edge guns. They're supposed to be a little bit more powerful, but yeah, they start with no ammo, so you don't really want to use it. Unless you run out of ammo, run out of ammo in your handgun. Um, don't reload it and then change it when you're near a save point. But I have tried them guns, they're, they're alright, they're not as, yeah, not as really worth paying for, to be honest. They're just showing you, it's just a different model of a gun. They're a little bit more powerful than this main gun. So, it's something. Okay. Now keep going over there because there's a board in assist mode there, but in this version, uh, standard and hardcore, it's not there. Yeah, this room is so bright. Let's see. This, this is David, apparently. People have worked this out. And it was down on the other side, this was David, the other piece of it, it gets found on the floor. Uh, the original idea of the game was supposed to have no head in the original Resident Evil 2 in 1998. So in this version they just made it more gory that it ripped his mouth out. And this guy was supposed to be like the idea was to say this was the guy that's supposed to like his head drop, so yeah, I think both in there. It feels smooth because of the low graphic frame, low, uh, low graphic frame, low graphic stuff. Um, other than that, yeah, there's a map if you need it. Uh, you can use controller support as well, uh, I'm not sure which controller will work. I um, might close my PlayStation 4 controller into this and see if it works. Because uh, I don't think the Xbox 360 controller will work on this. And as per normal, my aim is still there. Um, yeah, I'm slightly trying to remember where to go in the game. Even if it's a little darker to see. I'm doing pretty well considering that. Can't see much. I, I always pull the door, open the window up because you don't really need them coming through. Uh, now I tried to find out where the safe locations go. Unfortunately, I can't find them because it's not my version. So, you know. I have no idea where the save files go if it's not your version of the game. And it's basically, you know, a copy of someone else's game they sent you. So, yeah, I had the installation, so I installed it. Oh, the classic Resident Evil 2 stop. Sound effects are nice. I miss this old sound effects, which you'll hear again when I play Resident Evil 2. Classic 1998 again. And now I worked out R is through those.
difficult to see that. Sometimes there's little buggers in there. But not always. Let's get a famous little scene. Moon nice. Now, normally if you see my other live streams this, normally I don't go this way straight, normally. Um, I don't normally get that manual blurs this year, but... Uh, this is just so you guys can have a feel of what the game looks like before I do a live stream. Which I'm going to be honest, I'm going to probably struggle a little. But I'm not going to record the whole thing, so... Oh, the library's so dark. It's just bitch. She's in the way. Only in the second playthrough, then zombies come out in this land if you ever played this game, which your team probably have by now. So this is how far I'm going to go in this to show you what this is like, and hopefully we'll get somewhere within the stream as well. I can't find where the saves locations go, so I can't copy some saves over the game. He's 100% completed this. So right now I'm going to say thank you guys for joining me for this video, I hope you enjoyed it, a big thumbs up in this video, I really liked it, uh, subscribe if you haven't already, share some social media, generosity goes a long way, comment in comments section below what you think of this video, and definitely check me out on Twitch, link is in the description below so you can watch the Twitch stream place to see how well it goes, it might not be great but we'll see how well it goes, and uh, hope you enjoyed once again, and we'll see you on Twitch later on, and see you in the next video, this is... Thank mm -hmm. you.